And one more thing that you can do with the AC200 or the AC200P is use a charging brick that it comes with and another one if you happen to order two devices or you could just order these separately like I did through the Blue Yeti site. So here it is. It's a big charging block. It looks like this huge charging block. And so now I've got two of these. Fast charging capabilities, you don't want to use it all the time, but if you're in some kind of a bind and you need to just charge it up real fast within a couple of hours, let me show you the kind of inputs that you can get with this power. So right now I'm just charging a couple of those lights that I had for the power outages in case or I could just use it as like an emergency lamp. This is the adapter that it comes with. This will allow you to plug it in and you can use the plug that goes to the solar power in connection with this. So here's what I'm doing. I'm taking the solar cable that it came with and I'm using this adapter here to plug this in together here. And when I do that, it'll give me the ability to plug in my charging block, my brick. So I'm gonna undo this tie here and then just connect this up. Okay, got that undone. So now this will plug into there and one of the sides will allow me to use the plug to fast charge. So here's the solar adapter here that would plug in right there. I'm going to connect the rest of this up right here so that it can plug into there. So got that. I'm gonna plug this into the back of my APC over here, the back of the thing here. And then I'm gonna plug this extra brick here into that side as well and show you what kind of readings I'm gonna get from running all this power into there. This plug right here is for one slot. And this right here is for the other slot. Okay, and let's see here. All right, it takes a minute to kick on, but there, it's going now. Okay, so I took it out of the APC and then just plugged it directly into the wall so that it would get a steady current. And now let's take a look at what it's gonna be doing over here. There's gonna be two sides to where the power can be seen climbing up. Okay, we got one side here. And let me plug in the other side. Getting 400 watts from one of them. Okay. Plug that up and moment of truth. I'm waiting for this light to come on. There it goes, it just kicked on. So there it is. Over 800 watts of power being charged up into this device. That's a lot of power being inputted and it will climb up very fast. Now one thing to note when you're running these power bricks, when it's on and when it's charging, the light on here, the indicator light is red so it's kind of counterintuitive to what we're used to. Normally green means charging and red means it's not. But the lights are flipped around like that. But that's perfectly fine. It's going up fast though. And it's at 78% charge right now. And I, I'm just going to turn it off after it goes up to about 80%. But it should do it very fast. Let me just make sure that no faults are tripped over here earlier. You know, there's nothing that's lit up. And also another thing to note here, there's notifications on this screen. When you have the solar plugged in and you have the AC adapter plugged into here, there's no indicator lights that are on here. But if you have any of them unplugged, then number two and number six will light up. Think of them more as notification lights 
than any kind of fault lights. Okay, so after about 82% uh, of charge in not that long of a time frame, I just decided to unplug both of the AC bricks and I'm just gonna let the camping lights just top off. I like to keep this device at around 80, 90%. I don't like to top it all the way off because it does have a lithium ion battery in it and I wanna use it as long as possible. I'm sure that my charging habits will make it last a long time and that there's a good battery management system in there already. The fast charging capabilities using the solar and also electricity to charge it back up is great. If I'm in one location but there's no electricity and I needed to go to another location that does have electricity, charge it up and then bring it back, I could do that. That's one alternative that I can have for having quiet, silent electricity flowing from my generator. And until the next time, I will see you on the next one, okay? Peace.